Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I have part two right now of my amazing state, the state haul that I did. I went back the second day because I thought, hey, there might've been some stuff that I missed and I didn't realize he was gonna give me such amazing prices. And I will tell you, I have an Ikea bag that I brought with me. And this time he gave me even better prices. So. He charged me with tax and processing $88 for all of these items and I haven't even counted them um, so I will have to count that up right at the end there so let's get going with my first soft surroundings piece of this one this is soft surroundings XL and I'm clearly gonna have to start searching um, for the age of different soft surroundings tags because some of these are a little different and so I'm not sure which items are older, maybe vintage or not. However, this item is a uh, embroidered linen jacket, as you can see. Absolutely gorgeous. Sorry about the blinds putting spots on me. And I'll show you the back. Look at that. And then it has still the oriental style kind of buttons in the front. I think I'm going to be listing that one for probably like 75, 80 bucks, maybe. Not quite sure because it's so gorgeous. I want to just wear it myself. Okay. So next, I haven't looked these up yet. I do have a couple of pieces. And this is Orvis, which I've only sold Orvis like flannels before. I didn't know they made this kind of stuff. So this may be an older Orvis tag, or maybe they have a line of this kind of stuff that I wasn't aware of. Anyway, this is a vest duster, has a pocket, has a stitching right here, and it is full length, y'all. Look at that. Kind of hard to show it in such a small video but I'm gonna be looking this one up as I am the next one which I couldn't handle because it had elephants and I love elephant so it's another Orvis and it also has these oriental style kind of closures which she apparently really loved it has these awesome like elephants and I think those are camels and cougars I don't know anyway so this is also full length let me show you what's on the back how beautiful is that and then it's got stitching detail around all of the edging pieces or edging details and it goes all the way to the bottom where it has a little bit of an edge right there, a slit. That one's probably gonna go, I don't know, I'm gonna have to list that like 80 to 100 or something. I'm gonna have to look it up. Anyway, um, next is another sock surroundings. And this is also an extra large. It looks like this is probably a robe, as you can see, because it has the piece right here. Yep. The tie off piece. So this is just a beautiful soft pink, super soft robe, which will probably go with 40 to $50. Um, this next item is another new with tags. It's from let's see, Cynthia Ashby, which I didn't know a lot about. Um, but it's this mesh kind of top. oversized these sort of not bat wing but drop shoulder kind of sleeves so this one will be going probably 40 to 50 actually I gotta stack these over here to separate them and then there is another I believe this is another soft surroundings Nope, it's a J. Jill. 
and I mainly got this one off of style. Um, it does look like it has a few little tiny holes on the front. However, there's the Jade Jill. It still has a dry cleaning tag and it's long. I believe it's wool. It has like a drop shoulder. It's like a cape sort of sweater. And let's see if we can see what it's made out of. I'm thinking it's wool, but I'm not seeing the tag. Nope, it's not showing a tag. It feels like boiled wool though. Uh, anyway, I'll have to be looking up some comps on that one. Next. We've got, I think this is another Orvis. Yep, it's another Orvis piece. Also extra large. And also with the kind of oriental style, but this is button and loop. And it's like a robe, because it has the slits down the side. And it's just gorgeous. Just beautiful coloring. And then we've got brand new with tags. Unfortunately, the tag doesn't say how much it costs. Neiman Marcus with the tag. Cashmere kind of shawl. There's the armhole. and it's just black and gray. And then um, I just grabbed this one because it looked really neat, even though I've never heard of it. It's Smithsonian. And it's also a kimono, it's a kimono style kind of cardigan, as you can see, and it's got the holes right there. And the only imperfection it has is it has some tiny, tiny fraying right here under the arm, which is barely noticeable. And it's a polyester wool blend. Uh, it does say this is a small, but since it's very oversized, um, I don't really think that matters. All right, and this piece caught me right when I walked in. I thought it was kind of interesting. It's obviously vintage. It's uh, Charles Ray, has the dry cleaning tag on it still. Um, hand screened and dyed silk. And it's just this kimono style top with the slits down the side. It's just really soft and pretty. And then, next one is, uh, I believe this is Vintage Saks Fifth Avenue. You can read that. And it's 100% pure silk cardigan, navy blue cardigan. As you can see, it's in great shape, has all the buttons, it has pockets, it's a great basic. And then these, I've only ever found one of these like once and I don't even remember what it was. But here is Gold Label Victoria's Secret, which means if you guys aren't familiar with that, when it has this cream colored label and the gold font, that means it's highly sought after and it's a vintage Victoria's Secret. So these are the ones that you really want to grab. So. This one is a robe, has the tie with it, and it's a size, doesn't say, but I believe it's probably a large, 
And the next one is kind of similar. It's a floral, but it's got lavenders in it. Another gold label, Victoria's Secret. Tie, it's attached. And this on the hem, or the sleeve, I mean. And then one more, gold label, Victoria's Secret. And this is like a, a pajama top, I guess. Now it's possible there were pants and I just missed them. However, this looks like it would be great for just a regular pajama and not needing pants or anything, especially if you're like a medium. Okay, and there, she did have a lot of shoes, but I was running out of time and stuff. There are two pieces though that I definitely grabbed. Um, these, which are fit flops, as you can see, practically perfect condition. These should go probably around $40 from what I looked up. And then these last ones that may need a little bit of help with my Wonder Balsam. These are Cole Han, and they're just these toeless mules in just perfect condition. And that is it for that haul. So let's see how many items that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16 items. So I don't even know how much that means. So I got 16 items for $88. And all of those are going to go for $40 at the very least. Very least. So I pretty much hit the jackpot yesterday and today. Oh, and as promised, so the Johnny Was pieces there was about five or six of them. Some were silk, they were all embroidered or something. A couple of them were velvet um, and had like different velvet printing all over them. Um, and the reason why I didn't get them is because I only had a certain amount that I could spend today. However, on Monday when I have more go through from Poshmark um, into my account, I will have more to spend on those items. So. I asked them what they do with items when they're done with the sale tomorrow night and he said that they may donate them, they may do something else. So I gave him my phone number, told them I would be willing to pay $25 per Johnny Was piece if they're willing to sell them for that much. So if you see another video with a bunch of Johnny Was, you'll know that I got them. So I'm crossing my fingers because having that many Johnny Was pieces in my Poshmark closet would just be so amazing after getting all of this stuff on top of that. So my goal for having higher end stuff in my closet is starting to come true. I'm gonna start looking into doing more estate sales. Hopefully this time someone will let me film and I can bring y'all in with me so you can see how it, how it all works and how they run them and everything. So, excuse me. So I will, See you guys in my next video. I hope you liked my haul this time. It made me super excited to share it all with you and I cannot wait to get them all loaded up in my closet and listed so that they can start flying out into whatever homes they go to. Anyway, I will talk to y'all later. Love ya, bye.